Some bands live a different life to their audience. Some bands are, you know, living a life of luxury for the rest of us or something. Chisel weren't like that. They were interchangeable with their audience. In a sense, they could have been, any member of that audience could have been in Cold Chisel and Cold Chisel could have been any member of that audience. 12,000 people and they still get Mick Williams' Paul. Cold Chisel, Cold Chisel. Cold Chisel are a fantastic band. Cold Chisel forever. I left my heart to the sappers round k Sang. And my soul was sold with my cigarettes to the black market man. I've had the Vietnam cold turkey from the ocean to the silver city. It's only other vets could understand. I don't reckon you can be in a rock and roll band, Australian rock and roll band, and not appreciate Cold Chisel. You know, all of them are great players. There's way too many good songs for any one band to have. Initially, people might have pigeonholed Chisel as being just a one-dimensional Yobbo rock and roll band. But I suppose the journalists were amongst the first people to go, hang on, there's a fair bit more happening here. They were very volatile and quite ragged, but I also think very clever. I love seeing that old footage of Cold Chisel because they're just a wild band and there's a dangerous element to them and that's how rock and roll should always be. There's an honesty and a lack of pretension with their music. It's like the soundtrack to your life or a soundtrack to a certain part of your life. They're a meat pie kind of band but a bloody good gourmet one. Sometimes cultures will became almost like spiritual leaders of their generation. I don't know many people that would even know the words to Advance Australia Fair compared to KC. You know what I mean? Yeah, sometimes gourmet, sometimes just straight out. Mystery means I think what made the difference with Chisel was the songs were so powerful. There's, there's not one bad suck hole single word. It was just a real blokey, in your face sound that just elevated again from the records. And not a lot of people can pull that off. It's freaking rare you can have that, you know. I guess we were all just trying to figure out what they were for a long time. And then by the time we'd almost figured it out, it was all over. That's the beautiful thing about a band, is that you see a story. Go back to the beginning, start from there, and follow them through. The idea of a Cold Chisel tribute album makes all the sense in the world, because they were bloody good songs to begin with. When something like this comes along and you're in the middle of rehearsing for a tour or writing, it's really good because sometimes you listen to other people's playing and you go, wow, I never would have thought of that. I feel really excited about just, just starting the track today and, and knowing that it's going to be on a record with such a lot of other great artists and also a lot of great songs that have been picked. The Rising, the rising sun. sun Just Stole My Girl Away. That's correct. Cold Chisel. Bloody record. What album was it on? East, I think. We're in Dallas Gray and we're recording another Chisel track. Oh, hang on. Yeah, that one before. Never recorded Chisel. Oh, right, don't bite my head off. I can't remember. I was only in nappies at the time. Mm. I still am. You, you can never quite relax until you feel that the, the original writers have, have heard it, you know, and they've kind of given their seal of approval. <laughs> Is that the, is that the like, is that the melody? I don't even know the friggin' melody. You can't kind of do them the way they do it and expect to come out smelling of roses, you know. Tribute albums are kind of weird like that, you know. How do you improve on something that's so great? Maybe if we don't sort of do it properly for them, then uh, we'll they'll, do our best. they'll feel like they'll have to come and show us really how it's done. <laughs> I've, been, I've been working hard. 12 hours a day. I think every artist that's on this record should be, first of all, should be on and be on it. And second of all, they've got to give it their best. We're going to go at it like a ice smoking bull at a gate in a china shop. In a gated china shop? In a gay china shop. Our spin on it is to just throw as much youthful young, red-blooded energy into it. 
hopefully make it jump out of the speakers and give you a good old slapping. There's a really easy way of describing this record. It's the best Australian acts of today paying tribute to the greatest Australian rock and roll band of all time. It's that simple. Catch a plane, steal it back again.